Yo, welcome back. We're doing Z1 in Excel. We are first going to do a proportion. We can either use the 12 and the 15 or the 20 and the 25. You see that, Caesar? Which one you want to work with? Pick the easiest numbers. Which which is which do you think is easier? 20 and 25. All right, 20 and 25, he said. All right, so what we're going to do is um 20 and 25 so scale factor is what would we multiply 20 by to equal 25 that box right there that whatever we multiply by is going to be the scale uh factor so we're going to make an equation 20 um x equals 25 what do we do next Divide both sides by 20. X equals uh, 25 twentieths. We're going to simplify and divide. What can divide into 20 and 25? Five. So 25 divided by five is 20 divided by five is X equals five fourths. Who's next? Who's got a question? You got that, Caesar? Yeah, I wrote it down. That makes sense? Yeah. All right. Next. Eliana back there. One at a time. I sure can. So this is easy because right here, this 93 is going to be equal to this G. So these are going to be equal. So that's going to be 93. Okay, who's next? Um, Catherine, Ariana, or Esmeralda? Who, who want help? Okay, Catherine want help. All right, what's the value of Y? So this is going to be the same thing. We can only use the 25 and the 20. So we're going to do 25 times something must give us a 20 divide both sides by 25 x is going to be uh 20 20 fifths simplify what goes into 20 and 25 five and we get what four fifths so four fifths is the scale factor and we need to take 15 multiply it times four fifths and that's going to give us y so how do we multiply 15 times four fifths put a one underneath very good then we're going to multiply that out and get what well technically we could cross simplify and get five goes into five one time Five goes into 15 three times, and that would give us a 12 over 1. Okay? But if you don't know how to do that, then we got to do, somebody shut my door, 15 times 4. What's 15 times 4? 60. What's 5 times 1? 5. What is 60 Divided by 5. 60 divided by 5. 5 goes into 6 how many times? 1. 5 times 1. 5 times 1. 5. Subtract. 6 minus 5. What do I get? 1. Bring down to 0. 5 goes into 10 how many times? 2 times. Our answer again is what? 12. No matter how you do it, you get the same answer. All right. You got that? Okay. Boom. If I wasn't making a video, I would make y'all copy the notes. Um, who need who? Who am I helping next? 
Sarai. You got it. Oh, there she go. All right. That's 125. Because these angles are corresponding. So this angle is the same as this angle. If that angle is 125, then this angle is 125. Put that in and let's see what the next question is. Okay, this is this is a little bit better. All right, so we're gonna have to find the scale factor between these two. We got two and one fifth times x equals two and three two to four. Um, that means we're going to turn these improper fractions into fractions who can do that. So I make these, somebody make these fractions. What's the first one? What's the first one? Turn these improper's into fractions. I mean, turn these mixed numbers, I'm sorry, into fractions. Uh, who, uh, somebody said 11 over 5. Who is that? Thank you. Let's do the next one. Eleven over what? Over four. Raise your hand if you understand how we did that. I got one hand. I guess I got to work with that. Okay, so we're going to divide both sides by eleven fifths. This gives you what is called a complex fraction. You want to do keep change change. I'll do it down here. So that's going to give you 11 fourths times 5 elevenths. I did the reciprocal. It was division. And then I multiply by the reciprocal. I can cross simplify here. 11 goes into 11 one time each, and I get a 5 fourths. Or I could do it the hard way and do 55 divided by 44. And I guess if we simplify that and divide both of these by 11, we're going to get 5 fourths. Then I have to take that scale factor, which is 5 fourths, and multiply that times 5. And that's going to give me D. So 5 times 5 fourths equals, how do I do that? First, I got to turn this 5 into a fraction. What do I do there? Put it over what? 1. Multiply across, I get what? 25 over 4. And then if I, I don't know if IXL wants you to put 25 fourths, or do they want you to convert that to a mixed number, which is what? What's, what's 6 times 4? 24 with 1 left over, 6 and 1 fourth. So I don't know if IXL wants the fraction or the mixed number, but that's your answer. You got that? Which one, which one are you going to put in, the fraction or the... Mixed number. Put that in. See what happens. It's correct. It's correct. So they want the mixed number. Not the fraction. I've seen them make it wrong. I guess I'll do this. Does somebody else want me to do a question? Raise your hand if you want me to to give you a question. All right.
Where you at, dude? Are you up here? Huh? Is you? Huh? It's not showing. Oh, you got to answer a question. Just hit enter. Put any answer in. You have to at least answer one question to show up. There we go. All right. Are we going with the 15 or the 13, Brian? 13. So we're going to do 13 what? Equals 0.7. Divide both sides by what? 13. Get a calculator. Tell me what that is. Zero point nine. That's your answer. It's correct. Zero point nine. Whoop. There it is. All right. So I think I'm going to chill out right there. Boom.